Whatever the reason is you're doing this, focus on that. Maybe it will help. Trust me, I've been through worse. Before we get into the video make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell if you haven't, in order to be the first to get notified when I release new videos. X-Men Origins, Wolverine, 2009, full movie in summary, recap, plot, synopsis, or whatever you will call it. In 1845, James Howlett, a boy living in Canada, witnesses his father being killed by groundskeeper Thomas Logan. Anxiety activates the boy's mutation, bone claws protrude from his knuckles and he impales Thomas, who reveals that he is James's birth father before dying. James flees along with Thomas's other son Victor Creed, who is James's half-brother and has a sharp claw nails and healing factor mutation like James. They spend the next century as soldiers, fighting in the American Civil War, both World Wars and the Vietnam War in 1973. In Vietnam, the increasingly violent Victor attempts to rape a Vietnamese woman and kills a senior officer who tries to stop him. James returns to Victor upon the commotion, and ignorant of his brother's intent, he rushes to defend him. This results in the pair being sentenced to execution by firing squad, which they survive due to their mutant healing abilities. Major William Stryker approaches them in military custody and offers them membership in Team X, a group of mutants including expert marksman Agent Zero, katana-wielding mercenary Wade Wilson, teleporter John Wraith, super strong and invulnerable Fred Dukes and technopath Chris Bradley. They join the team for a few missions, with James using the alias Logan, but Victor and the group's lack of self-control and empathy for human life causes Logan to leave. Six years later, in 1979, Logan works as a logger in Canada, where he lives with his girlfriend Kayla Silverfox. Stryker and Zero approach Logan, reporting that Wade and Bradley have been killed, someone is targeting the team. Logan refuses to rejoin Stryker, but after finding Kayla's bloodied body in the woods, realizes that Victor is responsible. He finds Victor at a local bar, but Logan loses the subsequent fight. Afterward, Stryker explains that Victor has gone rogue and offers Logan a way to become strong enough to get his revenge. Logan undergoes a painful operation to reinforce his skeleton with adamantium, a virtually indestructible metal. Once the procedure is complete, Stryker orders that Logan's memory be erased so he can be used as Stryker's personal weapon, but Logan overhears and escapes to a nearby farm, where an elderly couple takes him in. Zero kills the couple the following morning and tries to kill Logan, but Logan takes down Zero's helicopter and swears to kill both Stryker and Victor. Logan locates Wraith and Dukes at a boxing gym. Dukes, who has ballooned in size due to a guilt-induced eating disorder, explains that Victor still works for Stryker, hunting down mutants for Stryker to experiment on at his new laboratory, located at a place called The Island. Dukes also mentions Remy, Gambit, Lebeau, the only one who escaped from the island and therefore knows its location. Like this video if you are enjoying it, and tell me what you like or think about this video, in the comments section below. Wraith and Logan find Lebeau in New Orleans, then both fight Victor, who kills Wraith and extracts his DNA. Agreeing to help release mutants that Stryker has captured, Gambit takes Logan to Stryker's facility on Three Mile Island. Logan learns that Kayla is alive, having been forced by Stryker into surveilling him in exchange for her sister's safety. However, Stryker refuses to release her sister and denies Victor the adamantium bonding promise for his service, claiming that test results revealed Victor would not survive the operation. Stryker activates Wade, now known as Weapon 11, a mutant killer, with the powers of multiple mutants. While Logan and Victor fight off Weapon 11, Kayla is mortally wounded leading the captive mutants to Professor Charles Xavier and safety. After Logan kills Weapon 11, Stryker arrives and shoots Logan in the head with adamantium bullets, rendering him unconscious. Before Stryker can shoot Kayla, she grabs him and uses her mutant power to persuade him to turn around and walk away until his feet bleed, then succumbs to her injuries. Logan regains consciousness but has lost his memory. He notices his dog tags Red, Logan, on one side and Wolverine, on the other. He pauses upon noticing Kayla's body, but does not recognize her. In a mid-credits scene, Stryker is detained for questioning by MPs in connection with the death of General Munson, whom Stryker murdered to protect his experiment. 
In a post credit scene, following the defeat of Weapon 11, his hand crawls out of the rocks and touches his head, which awakens and shushes the screen, revealing that he has survived being decapitated. Ooh, shiny. Click to watch another video on the screen.